What's up, everybody? We are back. John Delarose here, Delarose.com. That's D E L A R R O Z.com. I've got my graphic novel, Deus Volt, up on Indiegogo right now. If you love classic heroes, if you love fun, if you love fantasy, uh, if you don't want to uh, deal with your heroes fighting a blogger, <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe this is real. Uh, then this is the book for you. Uh, Captain America used to be a lot of fun, used to be patriotic, used to be something that we could all be proud of. That's when Jack Kirby was uh, creating the character with his good friend Joe Simon. Uh, but since that time, uh, you know, people have forgotten what it means to be a hero, what it means to have values, what it means to be chivalrous, what it means to be the American way. And while Deus Vold is a pre-American story, I think there's something everybody can relate to in it. So please check it out. Uh, the link is in the description below. Thank you, everybody, who's supported the book so far. Obviously, we've had a huge success, and I hope to get this book to you and hope you'll be very excited to read it. Something you probably won't be excited to read, <laughs> thanks courtesy to Bounding Into Comics, is uh, current Captain America. Marvel Comics author Ta-Nehisi Cope compares Jordan Peterson to the Red Skull in latest issue of Captain America. Bounding did a great job here of breaking everything down uh, so that everybody could uh, just see how cringy this is uh, from Ta-Nehisi Coates. I expect nothing less. Uh, I mean, I'm sure if I went and I read this entire run, I'd find literal Trump is Nazi on every single uh, page up until this point, which is going to be uh, you know, not, not worth reading, but of course I don't check these things out because it just gives me a headache to think about. But I guess Jordan Peterson is the ultimate villain, the Red Skull here. Now let's break this down a little bit just on this level of the comparison because uh, I'm not a fan of Jordan Peterson on the channel, you guys probably know. He's a, a grifter extraordinaire. Uh, he, he basically blathers on about nothing, makes it sound pretty and philosophical, and, uh, and then tells people to like go wash their penis or something like that. And that's their entire, his entire, you know, goal, uh, in, in terms of, uh, getting people to quote, improve themselves. It, it doesn't really make much sense. He's one of those, uh, middle of the road fence sitters who really doesn't add much to any sort of, uh, actual cultural content. And, uh, that's, uh, that's the thoughts on there. There's a beautiful book called Jordanetics. If you are interested in learning more about that. Uh, definitely something that I recommend people checking out. Uh, now, the Red Skull, by contrast, is a genius who is, you know, uh, an heir apparent to the whole Aryan Empire and all that. Uh, and, you know, of course, is uh, is evil, but uh, is, is much more competent. He's leading, uh, you know, super soldiers and, you know, mechanical tank things that are beyond our comprehension and has master plans and things like that. Uh, it's not exactly some guy who just uh, bloviates on on the internet. Uh, it's it's a, it's kind of a, a silly thing to reduce a villain to that level. And I've noticed that uh, a lot of characters in Marvel Comics have been doing this sort of thing in the past couple of years. Not not just villains, but you look at the X Men uh, when they were relaunching it a couple of years ago with their like X sidekicks now, uh, who are just like you know one of them's like a Reddit moderator or something like that. It's like they're they're trying to like appeal to this like millennial zoomer generation by saying look we can talk about cell phones too uh and <laughs> uh it just it just doesn't work and it comes across extremely cringy in every single situation anyway uh this is what we've got right here forgive the background noise i guess my my air conditioning just turned on and i hope that uh doesn't bother the sound too much this feels bigger than ross is where it starts out uh, and here it is, uh, the Red Skull making a, like, sort of vlog YouTube thing about America and, uh, how long shall you Americans tolerate his heresies, his mockery of law and order, his disrespect of your found creeds? How long shall you tolerate this captain of nothing? So I guess the entire point of this is to emasculate, uh, Captain America, uh, and it's kind of a silly, weird, weird plot. I don't understand it at all. Uh, but this is the Marvel Comics we live in. So, you know, there he, he goes off on the whole Make America Great Again thing. America was once a conqueror, of course. Now he is a caretaker. 
So I guess uh, he's trying to goad Captain America into being more masculine. I I don't I don't get the overall plan here, Red Skull. But you're not supposed to get it. These these metaphors that these guys do with current events never make any sense. They never work. They never really are a good allegory. It's just cringe every single time. And this is why they really, please don't hire people like ta Coates anymore. It doesn't work, especially for something like Captain America, which is supposed to be an uplifting, patriotic, love of America sort of thing. Uh, you can't have somebody writing this who doesn't love America. I remember when they had uh, uh, Jeff Lemire writing The Question. Now, Jeff Lemire, uh, while a much more competent writer than ta Coates, Coates, um, Definitely does not ascribe the values of the question. Does not does not hold to objective truth. He's much more of a nihilist, much more of a uh, antifa type, and so uh, he's not going to be able to write something like the question and stay true to it. You know that right away. And trying to force these situations like this just ends up with cringe every single time. It doesn't work. And uh, you'd think they'd learn better at this point. Unfortunately, there's no real editors anymore. The editors are just hire their buddies is what it comes down to. Or they hire somebody they think will be a political virtue signal to get them golf claps at their like New York uh, fundraisers or whatever it is. That's really what it comes down to. And that's why ta Coates is here to begin with. Um, and it's no surprise. Uh, Jordan Peterson's uh, reaction is, of course, uh, you know, just as nonsensical as anything else. That he does. He has no idea what's going on. Probably has no idea who the Red Skull is. Uh, and of course, he tries to make it sound pontificating. Uh, I, I don't know. I would have tagged Tana Easy Coats. I don't, I don't, maybe Tana Easy Coats isn't on Twitter. But uh, I would have been a little more aggressive back towards the guy uh, if I were in that position. But that's, uh, of course, why I don't get elevated by the mainstream media like Dr. Peterson uh, does. Oh, well, controlled opposition going to control opposition. What do you guys think? Hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment. Love to hear your reaction to this. We'll talk to you guys soon.